Hey, Flower Mechanic here, and today we're going to go over how to test any relay. And at the end of the video, I'm going to be showing you a relay testing hack you can do inside. Um, we're also going to be testing. We're going to be testing the relay using the battery. Um, how to test a relay using a test light. How to test a relay using power probe, and um, how to test different style relays. You have your uh, three pin, four pin, five pin and so on so and i'm also going to be um actually putting a relay to use here as you can see i have um had this metal alloy light bulb sitting around so i figured it'd be cool to put that to use you can see the ballast sitting over here so um let's just go ahead and start by explaining why they use relays um, the main purpose for using a relay is to basically control a high amperage circuit with a low amperage switch uh, the reason they do that is uh, basically when you got when you're powering if you're powering a high amperage circuit with a switch every time you hit that switch there's going to be uh and eventually what that's going to do is uh, wear out the switch just like uh, just like on this power probe i have here um, when I hit this switch, this obviously doesn't have any type of relay circuit. So if I'm act activating a high amperage circuit with this, um, say like I'm going to uh, power up a fuel pump with this, rather than hitting, uh, or, or say I'm going to power up a starter with it, rather than um, putting this on the starter than hitting the switch, I would probably put this on the starter first, or hit my switch first and put it on the starter. So the arc happens here rather than inside the switch. So that's one of the reasons why they use relays, because if you were using a relay, if you were activating a high current circuit with the switch, that switch is going to wear out very quick, or you're going to melt the switch up. So, um, also it saves a lot of wires, because we can activate this, uh, we can activate this relay with small small gauge wiring like this, whereas the high circuit portion of it, via be a fan motor or an AC clutch or something of that nature, um, we reduce the amount of high gauge or large gauge wire we need so um let's go ahead and i'll show you guys how this thing works here um first off just so you guys can see now this one i'll also show you guys real quick how you can tell which pin is which as you can see this one didn't have any labeling on it so by looking at it and a lot of times they'll even have they'll even have numbers right here and you can see here this one doesn't have any so there's really no way of knowing which one is which. Oh, actually, I guess it does have numbers. Probably need a, I can see it in the screen because it's magnified, but I actually couldn't see that with my bare eyes. But yeah, you can see the numbers there. You got an 85, 30, and so on. And um, if the cover was still on this, it would probably be a diagram, but there isn't. I'll see if I can find one and pop a, pop a screenshot up of that. But all right, so basically what we have inside this coil is we have a switch, which is here. This is gonna be the high amperage side and the lower amperage side, all we have is a mag we got a magnetic coil. So what this relay does is we're powering up this magnetic coil with a low amperage to activate this switch. Um, and as you can see, see here, so once we, uh, once we apply power to, once we apply power to the circuit via the switch here, it's gonna, it's gonna magnetize our coil and it's gonna pull this switch closed, letting high amperage current flow through here. So in order to uh, find out which legs we need to test without diagram, um, we're basically gonna check resistance between these terminals. And we're gonna have we're gonna find we're gonna have continuity through the coil side and no continuity through the switch side. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, I'm gonna set my ohm meter to uh, ohms here, which will be down there, and OL just means open. And put this together. And you can see there, it's showing um, about one ohm, zero ohm, so that's what we want. And we'll test these to see which one is open. All right, so we got resistance there. So I'd say that's our coil side. And you see this, on this one, it's, uh, they're actually across from each other. And here, 
is open. All right, so looks like uh, these two pins, these two pins here are our coil side. There we go. Yeah. So what I have is I actually have um, these two test leads hooked up to a battery, so we can test it that way. Just with power and ground, and the polarity doesn't matter. All it is is a magnetic coil. So. Let me try my power probe here, actually. And this, this power probe I have, that's basically doing the same exact thing um, those two leads are. It's just hooked to the battery and gives you a power and ground circuit, so. Let me shut the beeping off here. All right, so we can hear that clicking. See if we can get a good shot of that. There we go. So you guys can see that relay activating. So we're energizing the coil and it's closing the switch for the high amperage circuit. So thus far we know um, we know the coil is uh, energizing. So what we're gonna wanna do next is uh, let me actually hook these test leads up so I can power this thing continuously. Well, I think my, my test leads are faulty here. You guys can hear that clicking. We got it activated there. And now I'm going to check continuity through the high current side or the switch side. I guess we would call it. Alright, and as you can see there we have continuity. So this relay is testing good. Now another Step, you may want to you may want to go one step further here as if it were or I'll apply ground to the um, to the high current side so we're gonna treat we're gonna treat this high current side as if uh, it's powering this light bulb so I'm just gonna do this to make sure that this uh, relay can carry a load so as you can see there it can carry a load so this is definitely a good relay um, basically when you're testing it with just an ohm meter, it's telling you that there's continuity and the switch is closing, but it's not necessarily telling you that it can carry a load. Because when you put electrical circuit um, under load, if there's any if there's any high resistance or problems in that circuit, it's not necessarily going to carry the current. Uh, I mean, when you have too much current on a small circuit, I'll show you guys what will happen. As an example with this right here, which is just a piece of solder, but this is not, I'm basically shorting it out through the battery and this is not a, a no, to, uh, and uh, as you can see it just melted that piece of solder instantly, so that's just a quick little example of uh, what high resistance can do through a circuit that's not capable of handling it. I just shorted that out completely. Now when you're testing um, different size relays, some relays have uh, four pins, some relays have three pins, some relays have five pins. Um, for instance here, like in this diagram, um, I have it wired for four pin, but if that's actually had five pins, which would be an a, the 87A here. All that is doing is it's putting another leg on the ground, on the open side of the switch. So you can actually control two components with the same relay depending on if the switch is open or if the switch is closed. So when the switch is open, it'd be, pow it'd be supplying power through 87A. When it's closed, it'd be supplying power through 87. So um, you test it the same way, you just have to, you would have to test these two individually.
Um, and then you would have there's some three pin relays and the three pin relay just does away with the extra power which it just has a power coming in which supplies the coil and when the coil is grounded it's going to um, activate the switch over here and then power can run through to a light or whatever or whatever um, you may be powering here so um, now I also wanted to show you a testing hack and at the end of the video here I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hook this uh, I got this relay hooked up to this light here we're going to see if we can activate that but um, I have this little relay I just use it as a test relay and you can actually all I did is take a piece of wire I stripped it back and then wound the wires together and as you can see I actually um, twisted the wire around the all the pins um, this is actually a really good way to test relays and the circuit because you can make sure um, it's getting power ground and it's uh, activating the control circuit by testing it. So you just plug this in, you can check your powers and your grounds. Um, you can activate the relay in the vehicle and then you can test to make sure you're getting power out. And that's going to tell you real quick um, if all your circuitry is good and if the vehicle is actually powering up the relay. So this is a cool little hack. Just uh, strip some regular wire back, twist wires on. Um, put some tape around it, plug it in, works great. Quick, easy, quick, easy way to test the relays and um, check the circuit in the vehicle at the same time. Well, let me go ahead and see if, uh, uh, basically what I have here is um, I've just put the switch side of the relay in line with this um, metal halloid light. And now I'm just going to activate it with my um, jumper jumper wire here that I have hooked to a 12 volt battery as you can see that's what an annoying buzzing in the background is that's actually the uh, the transformer or the uh, ballast for this metal hyaloid I actually picked this up at yard so I thought it'd be cool to cool to be using using a video but I think that just about covers it um, hopefully if you guys can think of anything else, just leave it in the comments section below. Also, I will leave links to um, everything I used in the comments section. Um, I picked up this uh, voltmeter super, super cheap. I think it was less than 15 bucks. Um, a power probe. Um, I use this on a lot of things. Very handy tool. It's just a circuit tester that you hook to the battery. Test powers and ground. You can apply power to it. But um, I'll leave a link to that as well. So... If this video was helpful, be sure to uh, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, guys.